Aloha all and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'm Paper Mario Guy. In the last episode we were starting to take over the hood again one step at a time by tagging up our turf but uh, we're gonna accelerate things a little bit this episode as we continue to clean the hood up. Hey, you gotta keep it real, man. Man, nobody give a shit about the hood. I do. All they do is sell yay and ruin the place. No crack ever made a gang type. Oh, no. What's up, y'all? What's up, CJ? What's crack? Man, all they care about is smoking and money. You can't knock a homie's hustle, sweet. The marks ain't soldiers. They idiots trying to be businessmen. Yeah, but they down with us, man. All they down with is money. CJ, go down there and show these fools you mean business. These chumps from the bottles are sweating the homies. Go put pressure on them. Let's do it. We've been putting time in the hood, but we got to get the homies back together. Like the old days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you right. So you and Ryder gonna handle your business. Man, they're slang to their own mama. They don't care about nothing. You're naive, my friend. We gotta keep our focus. We need some backup. You seem beat up? Nah. But him and the homeboy Bear, they good to have on our side. Oh, Big Bear? Yeah, them bass slangers gonna be sorry now. Hey, beat up is only a couple of blocks away. The hood's all messed up, huh? Jill, nice so you try to get any of these crackheads to help you out. No one of the families ain't up on it. Apart from smoke, sweet, and you know yours truly. Grove Street don't bang no more. Yeah, just get blown. For sure. Hey, slow down, fool. You don't even know which door it is. Whatever, man. This it? Jill, yeah, this it right here. Open up! You sure he still live here? Fool, I told you this is it. Open up! Who the fuck is it? CJ, what the fuck you want? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, hold up, man. What happened to for life, nigga? The only thing that matters is the hood, homie. But you'll never understand what getting this money is like. You know what, man? Get the fuck out of here before you be laying on your back. Big Bear, come check this fool. Hey, Bear? <laughs> Big Bear, that's you? Hey, you still from the hood, homie, or nah, what? the only thing Bear give a fuck about is smoking and keeping my house clean. Ain't that right, Big Bear? Hell yeah. Hell yeah what? Hell yeah, sir. Now go make that motherfucking toilet spark. Oh, no, man. Oh, man. Bear, come on. Everyone likes to party sometimes, CJ. I'll see you around. Stay the fuck from around here, punk. Hey, nigga, fuck you. Damn. It's just fucked up. I see what you mean now, man. If Crack can do that to Big Bear, turn him into a base slave, the average motherfucker ain't got a chance. Damn dope fiends and drug addicts everywhere in the city. Piss me off. Look like it's up to us then. Let's just cruise through the hood and find us some All right, so we're gonna go beat up some crack dealers. We're gonna try to clean up the uh, area around Ganton. You know, try to get Grove Street back into a, a functioning gang, because apparently everybody's just uh, doped up on smack, so we gotta go smack some Hey, check it out. Somebody's this is actually gonna introduce an element of drug dealers being just around. Um, you'll see them. They'll either be one of two... Um, hey, Biden, I'm working, man. What you need? What you need, dog? Hey, yeah, like, what, one of two one of two people, really. Uh, it's usually these guys, or it's the guys in the white sweatshirts. Oh, it's a cop. <laughs> trying to get some too. Man, I yeah, but um, he a punk used to run with a front yard baller OG from Idlewood. I know his place. It's just across the tracks there. Let's check it out. Hey, ain't that front yard turf? Man, are you a buster? Nah, I'm down, homie. Hey, grab hold of this. Yeah, so usually it's just gonna be the white sweatshirt guys or those guys in the, uh, the black. Um, it's kind of cool because they have a little bit more money on them than like a normal pedestrian. So when you kill them, you actually get, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars versus, you know, maybe like a hundred dollars or less. You can smell a crack den a mile away. Yeah, let's shoot through and introduce ourselves. And I appreciate things like that in my games. That's, that's pretty subtle. You know, of course, a crack dealer is going to have more money on him than a regular person. 
And I think that that's the, that's like one of the things about this game is that, that they have tons of stuff like that. See, I don't actually think I need to uh, do this. I think I can just shoot them, right? I'm your bitch, huh? I think you're supposed to uh, fight them like hand to hand. But Ryder will actually take him out. But you can just kill them if you have a gun. Make things a little faster. And if you're, uh, oh, where is he? Yeah. So, a hooker in the corner here. Don't forget about her. Uh, I'll, I'll let her go, though. She's just experienced, experience, uh, something pretty traumatic. But, you know, for the rest of these people, I'll put them out of their misery. I don't, you know, a good, good guy. Yeah, so, now we're getting into, like, the gang warfare part of it now, you know? We're killing rival gang members and shit. Making making waves. We've been back, I don't know, maybe a couple days. CJ's been back, and he's already starting to, you know, piss off rival gangs, but... That's that mission. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Maybe these fools should be up for some real banging. Yeah, Grove gonna get back on his feet now, for sure, though. Later, homie. Alright, so I got some more mission, uh, more respect. Past another mission. Um, off screen, you might notice, uh, that I only actually have, like, $48,000. But that's because I did the firefighter missions. I have yet to do the... I have yet to do the paramedic or the vigilante missions, but those will happen soon enough. Um, but over here we have this little like basketball mini game, which you know doesn't really do anything. But you can record your uh, highest uh, hoop, which I think is kind of cool. And I think for this particular court, you can kind of go outside of the fence, like just ever so slightly before, yeah, it gives you like a little message. But if you release it at the apex of your jump, you'll be able to score that. But yeah, there's tons of little things like that uh, littered throughout this game. What's happening with you, Ryder? Respect has to be earned, sweet. Just like money. So what you saying? You don't respect me? What I'm saying is, speak up, nigga. I'm hungry. Oh, <laughs> man, shit. Hey, man what's going cannot on? live on bread alone. I know. I tried that shit. Carl, you look a little thin, man. You gotta be hungry, man. Yeah, now, I what you eat. fools trying to eat? That's what wrong. about some tacos? Tacos again? Hell no. Nah. Chicken, man. No discussion. Man, I don't want no chicken. Carl, you dry. Smoke looks like he gonna pass out. Yeah, so among uh, other things that is been being introduced right now is the idea of drive-by shooting. So, uh, that's... This this, uh, this actually is, a, like, a meme, this whole mission, because of uh, Big Smoke's order, which I think is kind of funny. Where am I going? I'm just driving to that particular fast food place. There's a marker on the, <laughs> on the map, though. Yeah, but people um, like to talk, don't they? Anyway, that's half a Santos you're right. talking about. But yeah, this is a meme. Yeah, this this whole section. I just found this out recently. But Big Smoke's order, which is hilarious. Um, definitely got a little bit more popular than I ever thought it was going to be. Can I take your order, please? Carl, what do you want? You got to eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Hey, sorry, bro. You know I gotta know about mine. I know, CJ, I know. I'm just trying not to think about it, so. I mean, I didn't even know she was hit until it was all over. Yeah, right, 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 right. Let's eat. Hey, don't we got beef around here? We have been getting into it with these fools. I can't stand cold food. Unlike you, I ain't never ate from a trash can. <laughs> oh shit, trash can bitch. Pass me my food. Hey, hey, look, Kilo Trey scoping us out. Damn, Ryder, you a jinx. Shit, the motherfuckers headed to the hood. Drive by. Move it, CJ. Hit it, go, go, go. Hit the gas. 
So this mission's uh, pretty easy. My my best advice is just to pin him against the wall. Like if you just do this, uh, and you constantly just get in their way so they can't move, you'll take him out pretty quickly. Um, pretty basic mission. You get to drive this time rather than uh, be a shooter yourself. So other drive-bys are usually a little different, um, but you can also shoot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just want to get out of range. Let it blow up. All right. Yeah. If you if you uh, use the left or right bumper to shoot out the side, uh, you can kill these people a lot faster. That's why I suggest pinning them down to the wall, so that way you can you know kind of load into them. You don't. If you don't have any guns, then that mission is going to take a lot longer because you're going to have to do what I started to do, which is just pin them down and hope that. Rider and smoke and, and, and sweet kind of take them out pretty quickly, but I don't really want to wait around for that, so we're all done. That's Just like that. Smoke. Say what, smoke? All you managed to do was eat my damn food up. Yeah, it was getting cold. Y'all coming in for a beer? Nah, baby. I need to get back to the crib. CJ, give me a ride. All right, smoke, let's go. See y'all later. Smoke is such a fat fuck. He did nothing. He just fucking ate. Smoke? The whole time. Man, if you can eat your food while everybody else is losing theirs and blaming you, you straight, huh? What? No, no. Just some poor Hey, Smoke, tell me why you moved out the grove. Man, got some money from my aunt. I mean, it's a nice place and all, but the grove is in my heart, baby. It's where my dogs is at. Yeah, okay, homie. Hey, thanks, Carl. Just wanted to let you guys hey, hear that I little miss bit of dialogue. Around, baby. Thanks, man. I wish Sweet thought like that. He don't mean it, CJ. He's still real tore up about your moms, man. Here, get yourself a little smoky smoke on smoke and relax, homie. Word. So we got more respect and we got some more money. So um, I'm going to kind of... Uh, I'm going to drive back and save and then we'll call it an episode but just to kind of recap just in case uh i was kind of talking over what was going on because you do pick up uh, bits about the story when you know they're talking in the car um but cj and sweet are kind of awkward about talking about what happened to their mom and everything and so they were trying to talk about it and uh big smoke and Ryder kind of weren't having a whole lot of it kind of push it off it makes sense. You know, it's kind of awkward. You want to be there when you know two people are talking about their dead mom. Um, but hopefully, that means that Sweet and CJ are getting on the same page because they're gonna need it. They're gonna need it bad. But that just about does it for this episode of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you like this video, please give me a sub and think about giving this video a like, and I will see you guys in the next edition of G.